As, there we go. This is the House of Rouse. <laughs> Every MMA show. UFC 247 live stream <clears throat> post fight. We're just gonna start out every single time with you uh personating Papa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's gonna catch on. Oh yeah. Um so last night Dominic Reyes beat the fuck out of John Jones. <laughs> and this is pretty much what this whole show is gonna be. Uh if you like John Jones. And if you thought John Jones won, you can just go ahead and tune out right now. Actually, you know what? Stick around so I can tell you why you're wrong. Um, <clears throat> and then tune out if right after. If anyone needs to hear it, it's them. Do what? So if anyone needs to hear it, it's going to be the, it's, yeah, it's Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so <clears throat> as you all know, the House of Ralphs does not support John Jones. In fact, I think it's fair to say he's probably our least favorite athlete in the history of sports. I can't. I can't think <laughs> he's of one of else. Um, he's so, he's definitely the, the bad guy. He's the villain. Yeah. So that sure. being said, I recognize he's a very good fighter. Um, I try to watch his fight still as objectively as possible. Um, yeah. One of my yeah, favorite he, fighters of all time is Dinner Cormier. Clearly, John Jones beat him both times, whether or not he was on steroids or not. Which he was. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I try to go in his fights with an open mind, regardless of what happens. That being said, <laughs> there is no reasonable argument to say that he won last night. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go on a tear, a rant for a minute, and then we'll, then we'll discuss, because I have to get this off my chest, because I've been waiting for this live stream to talk about this. Or not live stream, video, whatever. Um, it's alive. We're live. Yeah, we're live. No. <laughs> I've been waiting. Um, there is no justifiable argument to say that John Jones won last night. It was semi-competitive. Um, it really wasn't even... It, honestly, it wasn't competitive until the last two rounds when Reyes slowed down a little bit. But the only justifiable scorecard for last night is 48-47 Reyes. There is absolutely nothing else you can have that, that. That is the only score that you could have for that fight. Um, and <clears throat> to the low level primates who seem to think otherwise, I'm going to go over the scoring criteria for the UFC, what, meaning how you're supposed to judge fights. And what then about the, what about the four to one Jones? Yeah. The, first of all, all three <laughs> judges need to be publicly executed. And the one who was four to one, who gave it four to one Jones, should not only publicly execute it, but tortured on a live stream and have the rest of his family murdered for even giving birth to this son of a bitch. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a very mean episode today. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, the scoring criteria for the UFC is very, very simple. The 10 point must system, just like boxing, one person must get 10 points. And whoever lost the round has to get less than 10. So if the round was barely a loss, it's 10-9. If the round was a massive loss for one person, it was 10-8. And then at the end of the rounds, you add all the points together. Very simple. The way you decide who won the round is based on, in this order, this is the order from most important to least important, okay? Effective striking, effective grappling, aggression, and octagon control. And if you want to dig deep into the actual details of this, you can go find this. Just Google UFC uh, judging criteria. Um, <clears throat> octagon control and aggression are null until they're, the striking is, is equal. So if one guy outstrikes the other one, he's ahead. But if the strikes are equal and one person is pressing forward, then he wins. But not until the strikes are equal does the, the pressing forward matter at all. So backing up and hitting someone does not – that, mean, that it means nothing. Like just because someone's backing up does not mean they're losing. That is how the criteria works. That is not an opinion. It's, it's, this, that is the criteria. So to the morons who try to say, well, Jones was walking forward the whole time, 
Fuck you, you more. You're just a bunch of idiots. <laughs> you're just a bunch of morons. Low <laughs> IQ. <clears throat> oh, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to hold back some of the oh, horrific, to, some of the horrific offensive terms that I have for these people. You are just the lowest of the low on the intellectual scale. I mean, you're barely functioning at this point. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, round by round, in total, Dominic Reyes lands 119 of 263 strikes landed. Okay, Wait, Run that back. What was it? Dominic, over the course of the entire fight, he lands 119 of 263 strikes. Damn. So he threw 263, which is insane for heavyweight. Um, and he landed 119 of them. Wow. To compare that, John threw 107 of a, landed 107 of 170. So not only did Reyes throw more strikes, but he also landed more strikes of the, over the entire fight. Yeah. On significant strikes, Reyes landed 116, which means 116 of his 119 strikes he threw were significant. Yeah. Okay. John landed 104 significant strikes of 166 thrown. Okay. So wow. Reyes was factually the more aggressive fighter in terms of striking, and he factually landed more over the course of the fight. Yeah. All right? I mean, Jones has a hell of a chin, though. I will say that. Oh, yeah. Great chin. Good he, God. Took, he took the bombs. He took a beating. Okay. So then round one, Reyes lands 23 strikes of. 59, and John lands 17 of 27. So again, round one, clears day. Reyes throws more, Reyes lands more. 10-9 Reyes. No argument. No debate. Everyone, I, I think literally everyone's given Reyes the first round. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, round two of the three are the only ones are some, like I said, some low-level primates are giving it to Jones. <laughs> God, whatever reason. Um, round two, John lands 22 of 37. Reyes lands 33 of 68. Again, Reyes throws more. Reyes lands more. Threw double the amount, right? No, not quite. Not He didn't throw a double, but he he landed over 10 more strikes than John did. But, but um, it, was like, it was like, what, 37 to 60, right? Something like that? No, no, no. It was, he, no, Reyes landed 33 of 68. John landed 22 of 37. Yeah, so I'm saying the amount. Oh, the amount yeah. of he threw more. Thrown. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. a double. Okay. He yeah. literally threw double amount of punches. Yes. And in yeah. these two rounds, Reyes is the aggressor, the one pressing forward for most of the action. So clear as day once again. 10 and would, Yeah, and I would say, in my opinion, I thought round two was closer than round three was. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to see the uh, takedown stats. There were only two takedowns landed of the nine that John went for. And yeah, but it didn't I even say, matter. Yeah, I want to say that one of them landed in the third round, maybe, but he popped back up immediately. Like, there wasn't like any consequences to that. Like, yeah, took him down, and Reyes literally was just up. Jones just... would Jones would take Reyes down in an attempt of desperation. Yeah. yeah, and then and then Reyes would pop immediately back up, and then he would every time he'd break away, he would throw an elbow and la and usually yeah. land it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so again. Clearly 10-9 Reyes. No argument. Round three. This is the closest round of the first three in terms of numbers. But, again, clear as day who got this round. Dominic Reyes lands 26 of 45. John lands 19 of 34. So, again, Reyes throws more. Reyes um, lands more. So yeah. there is literally not an argument for the first three rounds. Like you cannot justify anything else. And the only way that you could say John could have won this fight is if you were to give John a 10-8 in the next two rounds. Because yeah, which, which did not happen. Um, yeah, so and well in the in the post fight interview, post fight interview, Reyes said he won the fourth. He was like, I had a four one. He's like, I gave Jones, I gave Jones the fifth round. That was it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. So John did did win the fourth and fifth round. Uh, John landed twenty of thirty four, and Reyes landed thirteen of forty one in round four. So 
Reyes still threw more, but John landed more. So John wins that round. Um, and then I think he gets a takedown maybe the fifth round. Um, and then in round five, 26 of 34 for John and 21 of 46 for Reyes. So Reyes is all he threw, he threw more every round. He just his his strikes landed went down in the last two rounds because Yeah, he's got tired. Yeah, he really got tired when he stuffed that first takedown, which was incredible that he managed to stop that first takedown fight. Yeah. Um so like I said, there is no justifiable argument for John to win. The next thing that his detractors would say is that to beat the champ, you ha- or to be the champ, you have to beat the champ, which is just the absolute stupidest line of thinking. I mean, first of all, it's not supported in the judging criteria, so it is factually not a part of judging mixed martial arts or boxing or any other combat sport for that matter. The the fighter should not have a benefit based on their status. Whoever wins the round wins the round. Because if not, what what are we doing? What's so the, that just, that just makes that just makes everything like ten times more subjective. It's like you, you you're literally not even giving anybody a chance because like you're pretty much saying, well, if the round's close, it's automatically give it to somebody the the champion, which it's just bullshit. It's completely bullshit. And anyone who spouts that comment in a, in a means to like justify it and say that that's the way it should be, and I understand it. I mean, you're just you're just the bottom of the barrel. You're just absolutely, <laughs> you're just an idiot. Um, <laughs> and then the last couple things I want to say is on the Sure Dog polls, which is the second leading MMA website in the world. Five hundred ninety-one people thought uh, Dominic Reyes won in the polls. One hundred eighty-three thought Jones won. So he is like what, like what is that, like a four to five, four point five to one? Yes, yeah. yes, something like the that. World thought he won. Dana so, White gave it to Reyes too. Yeah, and then Dana White after the press conference, who is always constantly blowing John Jones, thought he won. Uh, the commentators thought Reyes won. You hear Dominic Cruz, but at the end of round three, thought he was ahead. I mean, and he's like well, the. Jack- biggest, uh, they, you know. they, they were shitting on the judges all night. Yeah, uh, that wasn't even the word. That wasn't even like the the only decision night that was awful. Like there was like there was three or three. four. Like yeah, yeah, there was like three that were like there was two two that were just god awful, and there was like three to four that were like very questionable. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was rough. And uh, <clears throat> that, that's uh, that's our hang it up of the week. The judges of no, that, Houston, that's, Texas. No, that's your hang yourself of the week. <laughs> <laughs> All of you hang yourselves. Well, uh, that was that was the joke I made in private, but I, would, I, I wasn't going to go I'm bringing public. it to the public. I'm bringing it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, Daniel Cormier thought he won. Chris Weidman thought he won. Ezra Adesanya thought Reyes won. I mean, everyone. Th- it's like almost unanimous that uh, anyone with half a brain. Curtis Blades, too. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, Curtis Blades, yeah. Yeah, Curtis Blades him. thought he won. Yeah, I mean, you could have a lobotomy. And watch this fight object and uh, like not knowing who these guys are, and you would think Dominic Ray has won. I mean, it's like it's like the most obvious thing in the world. Um, <laughs> MMA decisions, which is the uh, the bulk of it's the media outlets, all the people who are doing play by plays. I think it was fourteen thought had Reyes winning, and five or six had Jones winning. And then if you scroll down to the comment section of this uh, MMA decisions website. I mean, it's just all Reyes. Like, everyone's just kind of shitting on anyone who thought otherwise. Yeah. Um, and then the yeah. last, the very last thing I want to say is fuck you, Texas. You are the <laughs> worst state in the United States. I um, don't like Texas. Yeah, but... Texas is god awful. Um, <laughs> don't go there. It's full of a bunch of redneck racist hicks <laughs> who don't know anything about fighting or much of anything at all. Oh, they they can barely get a coherent sentence out. <laughs> whistling through their goddamn wooden teeth <laughs> uh, it's a desolate wasteland oh god some of the worst people on the planet uh the commission there is an absolute joke um the ufc should never have a card there for the rest of their life they should just can that 
Um, I love Derek Lewis, but why are you supporting that place? Dear God, get out of Texas. Fuck Texas. What's sad is this isn't even the worst stuff we've said. Yeah, it's not. (laughs) If you're from Texas and you somehow find this podcast, I don't want you here. Get out. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. The thing good about Texas is the snakes that are there. All the crazy rattlesnakes and shit. Yeah, but they kill them all anyway. So yeah, and then the, all the fucking moron Texans just kill them and make them skin <laughs> on their boots because they're still living in the dark ages over there. Oh God bless. Oh, God. All right. Well. All right. So I'm done with my do rant. Feel, do you feel better? No, I'm still very angry. <laughs> still very angry. And you know what? John lost this fight. John lost the Santos fight. And John yeah. lost the first Gustafson fight. And if you disagree with any of that, I still don't want you here. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> but this was this was the worst one of his losses, I think. Oh, out of the three, man. I think this was the most clear that he lost. Um, I th- I, from from what I remember, I thought I had San- the Santos fight four to one Santos. But I have to I, go back and rewatch it. I had Santos up four to one, but I think I think most of the rounds were more competitive than the ones that, that Reyes won. I think I think the three rounds that Reyes won in this fight were more clear than any of the rounds that he's lost in his career. Yeah. Which um, is why I'm this angry. Well, <laughs> well, the last thing I want to say about it is uh, that John Jones, regardless, even though it sucks, but he is an amazing athlete, and he is a great-ass fighter. Like to fight yeah. this long, to yeah, fight yeah. for th- for this long, to be a champ for that long, and to be competitive, to be competitive with still all the up and coming people. Because when he first came in, I mean, he was beating a lot of people, but he, he was, I mean, he was beating Rashad Evans, Rampage. I mean, you know, whatever. And he's still, but he's still competitive with these new people. So he's still f- freaking amazing fighter. Yeah, but and, but. But he is on a, in my opinion, a two-fight losing streak, and uh, it's a sh- it's a damn shame that in the record books he'll go down as this undefeated, goat, best fighter of all time when he's not even in talks, in my opinion, for top three best light heavyweights ever in the division. <laughs> I wouldn't even put him in top three light heavyweights. <laughs> this is the thing. So if we're ignoring all of the things that he's done. What an absolute piece of shit human being that he is, and I'm not just saying that just because he's tested for steroids. Because I'm under the I'm under the mindset of that most fighters are on steroids. Um, I do think there are some that aren't. Like I I would say it's probably fair to say I don't think Daniel Dan Cormier was ever. I mean, he might. You never know. You really never know. Reyes. But I don't think Reyes is on steroids. It, it's really hard to say because sometimes there's fighters with like shit physiques that you would just never know. Um, but. That's not even the main reason I hate him. I hate him because of his social media presence, just the absolute horrific things that he says, and like delete, like making tweets, deleting them, you know, hitting pregnant women, doing coke. God, do well, all, all things. Everyone knows but it's all out there what he's done and what he said. Um, if, but if we're ignoring all of that, he has the best light heavyweight resume ever. But I think with all the things that he's done and said. You have to put an asterisk next to that. And when I talk about the greatest fighters of all time, I don't include him in that list because I don't, to, me, yeah. to me, the downsides of his career inside and outside of the cage, I didn't even mention how he's like a dirty fighter, like, you know, poking people in the eyes, stomp people's knees, crazy yeah. like that. Um, I think, uh, and I also think a huge part of his success is his uh, size advantage. Of everybody, because when you see when you've seen him fight dudes that are close to his size, he doesn't look nearly as good. Um, <clears throat> but because of all those asterisks, I don't include him in that list. And in my opinion, Daniel Cormier is the best light heavyweight ever, because the dude was like in his late thirties, you know, just wrecking people. Well, um, his, his resume is great, but I like like I said, I have. I, I can't say he's a he's the go- how is he the goat but and he's on a two fight losing streak because I don't care what those judges say he lost to Santos he lost to Reyes and yeah you could say he lost there's an argument that he lost to Gustafson in the first fight yeah so 
I can't. How is he the best light heavyweight in the world? In my eyes, he's he's lost. He's he's lost his last three out of uh, how many fights that's been six. Yeah. Well, the thing is, he's kind of like. Uh, I know you don't watch boxing at all. I don't watch it as like nearly as much as uh, you know UFC or anything. But uh, he's kind of like Canelo Alvarez, who's a big name in boxing, where. Uh, Great fighter, but he's had several questionable decisions that he should have lost. That like the consensus is that he lost those fights, and it really takes away from his uh, like resume overall. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't see how you could have him in your top three, top five greatest of all time. To be honest, uh, like I said, he's a great fighter, just a terrible, terrible human being. Yeah, uh, I mean, we used to we used to talk shit about Anderson Silva because we didn't really like him back in his heyday. But uh, at least the dude never was just getting these awful decision wins over and over and over. I mean, there might have been, like, one, but it was never, like, this ongoing thing. Well, I never disliked Anderson. I, like, I didn't disliked him as a, as a person. I just didn't care for his showboating stuff. <clears throat> but I never, like, looked at him and said, that's a really bad person. And I always yeah. recognized what a great fighter he was. And he's, like, yeah. a striker in the history of the sport. Yeah. But, um... And he's also tested positive, like, we got like four times at this point. But uh, also, on his f- defense, you could say he was doing that when everybody, like, was on stuff. Like, he was in the pre-USADA era, like, you know, decimating people. They were also, like, roided to the gills. So Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's actually a documentary, like, a mini-documentary video where they're interviewing Anderson. Like, this is his heyday. And in the background, on a cabinet, you just see a box full of needles and so a bunch of vials. <laughs> um but uh, but yeah. So I don't really know what else to say about it. Just it was. It was just, I mean, it was exactly what I said was going to happen. Except he didn't finish Reyes. But it's exactly. I kept call, I kept telling Colin the last yeah. three days. I said it's going to be a sad night. I'm looking forward to it, but I, I know I'm just going to be real sad. But can we? Are we we've talked enough shit about John and, and how good he is. Also, but let's get some. Some uh, like monstrous praise to how amazing Dominic Reyes is. That dude is an animal. Oh yeah, no, Holy he's no shit. joke. I don't think anyone. I mean, I knew. I've been saying he's no joke. Times that I thought he would do very well, and he had a better chance than a lot of other people did. Uh, but ultimately, I still thought John would win. But I mean, I think he like far exceeded everyone's expectations. Yeah. I mean, For he sure. might be the best boxer in the sport. The dude, his dude's hands and like head movement. His hands are great. Footwork. Yeah, dude, yeah, he's good. Some of the best things. I mean, I was worried he was gonna get tired because he had such an incredible pace in the first three rounds. But he was just yeah. His lateral, you know, footwork. He's just like circling, circling constantly, keeping his back off the fence. Yeah. Um, absolutely incredible footwork and head movement. He was doing the whole like uh. I don't even know how you would call it, but like you know, he would throw a one two and then. Uh, Bob his head out and then yeah. out, just like, and he was slipping punches like just the best you've ever seen in MMA. Yeah, uh, Dana, Dana White said um, he told Reyes he's the future. He thinks he's the future of UFC, and I was and yeah, I mean I've gained. He gained me as a complete. He's one of my favorite fighters probably now. I I, I cannot wait to see him fight again. But yeah. uh, who do you think? Uh, who would you like to see him? Would you like to see him then run it back with John Jones, or would you rather see him fight Santos right now? Uh, see, I don't think they're going to give him an immediate rematch. For one, it's a it's a big risk because he did so well. Um, and I don't think Santos would get an immediate rematch either. Um, well, for one, I don't even know when Santos. Well, I mean, well, amazing. I mean, Santos. Would you? I mean, which Reyes versus Jones or Reyes versus Santos is next? What do you think? I, th- I would imagine that they're going to have Reyes fight Santos next. And then whoever wins gets a rematch? Well, see, <clears throat> the thing about John is there's only one other light heavyweight fight, I think, for him if he's not doing a rematch. And it's the winner of Corey, Corey Anderson versus Jan Blakovic. Oh, yeah. And then I don't think he'll take a rematch with either of those dudes because of the risk. Um, plus, he probably just doesn't want to because he got his ass whooped both times. But um, Yeah, yeah. I think the only two fight options for for Reyes and uh, or for John, the only two fight options for John are 
Adesanya or Stipe. I, that's what I see happen. I think either one of those. Is going to fight Jones? Yes. Dude, and after watching after watching that fight, yeah, they both might beat him. I honestly Adesanya, don't know. Adesanya has a good shot. I think the only thing about Adesanya that I'd be worried about is he's so much smaller. Um that he wouldn't be able to stop the takedowns like Reyes did. Because Reyes is about the same height as Adesanya. They're both all 6'4". But the, like, physicality, the strength, the width, like, the athleticism, Adesanya is not nearly as big as those guys are. So if I was Adesanya, I would take a year to get just, like... I mean, if he's going to go to 205, he needs to make it. He needs to be a 205. He needs to be, like, yeah. cutting to 205, not, like, walking around 205. God, man. He needs to get physically stronger... And heavily work on his wrestling because I think in the striking department, I think Alessandro could probably piece Jones up. I think he's a much better striker than John is. Um, I also don't think there's anybody as good a striker as Alessandro is in the UFC right now. Um, Dang, really? The, the wrestling, I think, would be the big factor in the size and strength because that was the biggest thing is why Reyes was able to stop those takedowns. You could see he would just get those underhooks and just Muscular. use all of his strength, like which is why he got tired, but um yeah but i loved it i loved that like fuck you to jones like you're not getting me fuck you yeah oh he put you could see in his like face way he was moving like he was just putting everything into his takedown defense yeah um, yeah it was fantastic to watch yeah. god that was great that was great to watch yeah it was it was amazing um but yeah i think it's been one of those two fights and stipe the thing about Stipe is he doesn't have the same cardio as Reyes, I don't think, or John. Yeah, I, honestly, I think Adesanya has a much better shot than yeah. Stipe does. Yeah, I think so, too. I think Stipe probably has better hands than Adesanya, but I think the uh, the movement the in the kicking game of... Wait, you, think, uh, yeah, you, said, you, you said Stipe is striking is better? Um, <clears throat> I think Stipe has better boxing than uh, John or Adesanya does. But I don't think I think his uh, conditioning and his movement would make it an easier fight for John than uh, Adesanya because yeah. I think Adesanya is a much better defensive striker and he's much quicker. I think his kicking and his like Muay Thai skills are a lot better, and I think that presents a lot more problems for uh, for John. Yeah. Than well. Stephen's. I know, I know Reyes really wants the rematch, and Dana White was acting like it wasn't out of the question at all, that, they, that that's, that's what they were going to do. But it's so funny what they asked John in the post-fight uh, in the conference with the, if he would rematch Reyes. And it was so funny. He was like, well, I think uh, he said he has a torn ACL, and that, that means he's going to have a year off at least. And then the guy was like, no, he just came out here and said he didn't have that. And he's like, <laughs> oh, uh, well, if that's the case... Um, I don't. I don't know. I'll talk to Dana White. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. You could you could um, see when at the end of that, like near the beginning of that first round, middle of the first round, he was like when Ray was just coming at him. He was just like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> it's, not, it's way better than I was expecting him to be. Because yeah, was, and not scared. Yeah, no, no not fear. Scared. But that's what you have to do with somebody like John Jones. Is you can't go out there and try to feel him out. You just have to try to take it to him. And try to beat him. You have to, because that's what I feel like a lot of people do when they go out to John Jones. They come out there and they're like, "All right, let's just see what he's gonna do," and uh, and he's gonna piece you apart. But Reyes is like, "No, I'm gonna come out there. I'm gonna try to beat his ass." Yeah. Well, that's the uh, <clears throat> that's uh, that's the thing. I th I think a lot of people give him too much respect. And really, besides the takedown threat, um, coming at Jones doesn't have a lot of risks because. He doesn't. He's not a power puncher. His boxing really yeah, isn't I mean, honestly that great. It's not. It's not bad, could, but it's not. It's not like top tier. Um, yeah, but I mean, he so could throw very, up that fucking front kick. If that's the only thing I'd be worried about is that front kick to my goddamn face. But, see, he's got to have space to do that. Is the thing you got to give him the, the range. Yeah. Like so long. Uh, really, the only striking threat he has in close range, as far as hurting you, is elbows. So elbows. Yeah. yeah. And, and elbows are typically going to be harder to land unless you're clinched up in the first place. Um, so I think Reyes had a good game plan. He probably took a lot from the Santos fight. Um, yeah. Well, uh, in, a per in a perfect world, I would, I would like to see Reyes and Santos fight. And uh, whoever wins, 
gets that uh, rematch. And then whoever loses fight the winner of Corey Anderson and Blockowitz or whatever is the hell. Yeah. Yeah. I feel Corey like, Ander- I was going to say, I feel like if they're going to do a 205 fight, the winner of that Anderson fight is probably going to be the next one. But yeah, I don't think either of them have. Corey Anderson, I mean, he has that. I guess he. I don't know, man. John Jones just has such a good fucking chin. He can take he can take a sledgehammer to his face. He'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, man. yeah. I don't think Anderson and Blockwitz present as much of a threat as Reyes or Santos did. Um, and then Ken Ken is light heavyweight too, right? No, he's middleweight. He's middleweight. He was oh. light heavyweight, but he just he Reyes knocked him out, and he's like, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, and then he went down. Okay. Yeah. Um. But all right. We're 34 we minutes. Got, we gotta. We gotta move. We gotta move on. Move to the other ones real quick. Uh, not much to say about the co-main event. Shevchenko finishes uh, Chuka Kagan in uh, round three. Of uh, gets her in the crucifix. And uh, I hey, I said round. I said round three. I think. I'm Did pretty you? sure I said round. Yeah, I said. But I said submission. I said round three submission. Mm. I, I mean, she kind of did. She submitted her face into an oblivion. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was very reminiscent of uh, the position of Matt Hughes versus BJ Penn too. Where yeah, man. Passes out and uh, B- Matt Hughes holds him that crucifix, starts pounding his face. Um, except yeah. it was much more violent. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, um, Chuk- that, that was really from, had, it was, Yeah, she really had no force, man. Yeah, it was yeah. bad. She, she looked was, well. She looked. She looked okay. She's throwing some nice kicks, but. Shevchenko's just so fast. She's always bobbing. She's weaving. She's, yeah, dude. After watching that, she is so skilled. She's probably the most skilled fighter in uh, in the UFC. Just yeah, like, I mean, she's definitely up there. As far as, as far as striking too, I mean, her striking is like unbelievable. Put you put it against anybody. Yeah. Like skill, like skill for do- skill, you put her striking against anybody. I mean, <clears throat> she's yeah, insane. her reactions. And she, you can just see the way she's looking when she's bouncing. She's just, it's like she's analyzing everything all at once. Where do I need to throw right here? Oh, I'm going to do this. Like everything she does is so intentional. It's insane. Yeah. She's the most calculated fighter, I think, in the UFC, probably. Yeah. Uh, really, there's no one for her to fight in that division. It's kind of sad. I mean, the only yeah. thing for her in the UFC is Amanda Nunez. Yeah, Dana White says he's not going to do that. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, I mean it makes sense because that for him not to, as as far as a business standpoint, because then he's getting rid of whoever loses. He's losing that money because that chance now. If like if Nunez loses, then no one really gives a shit to see her fight anybody. And if Shevchenko loses, then it's kind of like, well, you know, she's beating all these people, but we all know. I'd uh. And- I kind of like to see Shevchenko fight Nunez at a catch weight of 130 in between, because Nunez is a 135 pound champ. Shevchenko is a 125 pound champ. I like to see them, and I think Nunez can make 130. I mean, she's like had problems making weight before, but she doesn't come in like the leanest like fighter ever. Like Shevchenko is much like leaner and fit looking at her weight than uh, yeah. Nunez is. I like yeah. to see them both fight at 130. As just so there's no belt in the line, there's no risk of. Uh, your star is being hurt. Um, everyone keeps their belt at the end. Just have it be a catchweight fight. Just for Shevchenko's legacy. Because, yeah, like I said in the other episodes, uh, Shevchenko versus Nunez 2 is one of the biggest robberies in the sports history, in my opinion. Um, I think she won 4-1, to one, like, just, just as clear as, like, Reyes won tonight. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to see those two fight. There's no one else. And who else, who else are either of them going to fight, really? Yeah, I, I mean, we were talking about how they might just have Roxanne sacrificed. Yeah. Throw her in there. But I love Roxanne so much. Yeah. I, I like don't the- think, I don't, don't think, I don't know, she looked pretty good in her last fight. I mean, I don't think she would get, like, mauled. But the yeah. chances of her upsetting are <laughs> so slim. I think Roxanne's ground game. It's pretty comparable to Shevchenko's. I think her jiu-jitsu versus Shev's jiu-jitsu is pretty, pretty competitive 
Honestly, yeah. Rice might be better on the ground. Um, but if she can even get it to the ground, that's the well, question. I kind of doubt maybe it. She, maybe she can try to pull guard, but then you gotta, but then you gotta risk getting your face completely yeah. cut off. Yeah, the Roxanne would really, she would really have to work on her wrestling to win that fight. I think. I mean, just go to like a D one wrestling and just like work with them. Uh, yeah, because I think that that would be your only chance. Uh, I don't think yeah. she would be with her on the feet at all. Yeah. And it'd be it'd be really sad to see her just get decimated because I like Roxanne a lot. Yeah, but probably it's probably yeah, Roxanne's awesome. Yeah, God knows what's gonna happen with any of that. We just um, gotta wait and see. Yeah, and then the rest of the card we got. Oh, we got Taffa. Was that the next one, Justin Taffa? Justin Taffa. Can't believe yeah, that. Yeah, with, <laughs> with the upset. Yeah. <laughs> What a ter- what a terrible uh a terrible knock, this one. knock the shit out of uh, Juan. Yeah, um, yeah. Juan Adams, Juan Adams has just had just moved to um, Greg Jackson's camp, and uh, I thought it was really funny. In the commentary, they were saying that the first thing that Greg Jackson and them did was change his stance, which and he was doing the whole John Jones thing where he puts puts he frames one hand out with his finger. Oh yeah, which is exactly yeah. what John does all the time. I mean, yeah. saying that, I was thinking in my head, like, that's, I don't know if that's a good, that's a smart move. Let me uh, change his stance, like, six months removed from his last fight. He's got six months to work on a completely new stance. That's, yeah. uh, if you've, if you've, if you're a fighter and you've fought in one stance your whole career, to change your movement and your stance, and that, that takes a lot of time, like, to yeah. a- adapt yourself, like, defensively and offensively from a complete different stance. I mean, I mean, can you imagine, uh, can you imagine this is the, obviously this is like a different level, um, but can you imagine telling Wonder Boy to all right, we're going to change your karate stance to a Muay Thai style stance? Oh God! And how he would look? I mean, I can't imagine that would go very well. Um, yeah, well, um, I, I don't think his stance at this point matters too much. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, he got wrecked. Uh, but uh, hey, if we're talking about matches to make, I would love to see Taff of fight Bam Bam now, because Bam Bam's lost, what, two in a row? So yeah, I think it'd be... That's a great fight. That's perfect. I, I, th- I think it'd be great to see Taffa step up, fight Bam Bam, and see what happens there. Because well, I really don't know. I love Bam Bam. He's one of my favorite heavyweight fighters right now. I wonder if they're and from I, the same camp, though, because they're both New, New Zealand, Australian type guys. Yeah, they got the same tattoos and everything. They might be from the same camp, so that's my, why it might not happen. But that would be a good fight. That'd be a really good fight. Yeah, I would love to see that. And then uh, and then Juan Adams is my hang it up of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hang it up. What is he? What is that, fuckers? Five and three? Five and four after that? Five and three. I mean, what is he? He's lost his last three. <laughs> the past two by knockout slash TKO. That contender series is really doing wonders for the UFC. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, it's so big. Dude's six foot five. He makes two sixty five barely. I mean, the dude's huge, and he just uh, just can't put it, put it together. But uh, yeah, drop back down to the regional circuit at the very least, because uh, yeah, he's done. Not UFC ready. Throw point. him in the throw him in the IFL. <laughs> you mean the PFL? No, the I the IFL. Is that even a real that's thing? Like, that's like, it was in the nineties. Oh yeah, what, oh international fight league or something as I was called. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> remember uh, I used to go at the at the uh, one dollar DVD bin at Walmart. I'd go grab the IFL yeah. DVDs. Yeah, I don't think that exists anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, and then the next one down. Uh, this is the only one that matters as far as who won the belt, who retains the belt, and I am still the reigning, defending House yeah. of Rouse MMA show champion. I have my belt here. It's getting some gems put on it right now. I'll have it next week, I promise. Or next uh, video. Um, Dan Eich. It's not Ege, I swear to God. It's, it's Dan Eich. Dan Eich. <laughs> We're the only people who know this. Yeah. If you want the real scoop, you want the real news, come to the House of Rouse. We have an unreleased interview with him where he tells us that it's Dan Eich, and he's very mad at all the commentators and Bruce Buffer for announcing, pronouncing it wrong. We're, we'll yeah. release that eventually. Hey, put him... <laughs> Hey, put a little animation of a belt or like champ or something for you when uh, at this part. All right, all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't care. Dan, <laughs> Dan Ige uh, wins the uh, what was it? Split or unanimous? It was split, and I do not think he actually won, in my opinion. I thought it was very, very close, and round three could have gone either way, but I think the deciding factor in a judge's mind would be, who would you rather be in that that round? Because Bechtek gets the takedown in the last like minute or two of the round and, and kind of holds him down, but... Uh, Ives does the the majority of the damage in that round. Like Bechtek doesn't really hurt him at all, from what I remember. But Ives was hitting him way more than Bechtek was. So I scored it for Be- uh, Ives, but I, it was, I recognized that it was extremely close. Um, yeah, I just think, like, say there was a, a fourth and a fifth. Say it, if it had to be a five round fight, I think Bechtek would have won the fourth and fifth. I yeah, think probably. probably. Yeah, Ives got I slowed down a little bit. Uh, he looked amazing on the feet, though. And also, him stopping that arm triangle in the second round was. Insane. Oh yeah, he had that shit so deep. Honestly, yeah, but he, he wouldn't. He wouldn't get off. He wouldn't get off on the side in side control. He was staying in full mount the whole time. Yeah, I don't know what, what he was doing. Uh, I think if they had been in the open mat and it wasn't against the fence, back to probably would have yeah. finished like that. I think the fence really prevented him from uh, getting enough uh, leverage on his finish it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then the next fight, which was uh, just awful. Uh, Derek Lewis takes on Ayer Latifi. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> God, that fight was absolutely awful. Derek Lewis, his fights go one of two ways. And usually it's uh, it's the latter. Um, he gets an early knockout, just destroys the person. Or he looks awful until the last round. And then the last like just he just explodes, unloads. Yeah, he yeah. kind of does it every round a little bit too. Um, <clears throat> but basically, Latifi just gets under hooks, presses him against the fence, can't finish any of the takedowns for the most part until the lat- near the end of the second round, I think, the third yeah. round. Um, and then when he gets the takedowns, does absolutely nothing. Nothing. Just sits in, nothing. Ha- sits in, sits in half guard, and uh, starts punching him in the stomach. No. Yeah. Not searching to advance position at all. Not searching to land a um, significant ground and pound. Not looking to submit. Just doing virtually nothing on the ground. And uh, he gets yeah. multiple stand-ups. Multiple clinch breaks from the ref. And whenever they separate, Derek Lewis unloads haymakers and keeps trying a flying knee for some reason that just misses every single time. Yeah, it, ha- it, it landed like once in the first round. And then for the rest of the fight, it was the most pointless. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was you terrible. Could, you could tell that was his game plan because Latifi is a wrestler. They were like telling him just whenever he shoots, you think he's gonna shoot, fl- just throw a flying knee. Yeah, you could tell that was his whole game plan. It looked like they thought that he was going to duck his head into the knee and get caught, but it just was not working at all. Um, but Derek Lewis gets the decision win. I think it was an unanimous. I want to say. Um, Latifi looked mad, like he thought he won, even though he definitely did not win. Yeah. Um, and, uh, that, and that's the thing about Derek Lewis is now what do you do with him? There's, there's nothing to do with him. And there's nothing. There's never anything really to do with Derek Lewis because he can't beat any top athletes and he can only <laughs> knock out like the brawlers. And then Latifi, the, like what the fuck is he going to do now? <laughs> nothing. This is nothing for him to do. He's just too big or too small to be a to heavyweight. He should He should – uh, it's hard to do, but I just don't know if he can. He is, he should have been a middleweight. He's so small. He's so short. But uh, I don't then, know. Like, I, like, yeah, was he going to go to light heavyweight and try to fight Santos or Reyes? He's yeah. Uh, yeah, Derek Lewis always, for the most part, always looks awful, but somehow wins a lot, <laughs> which is just yeah. a testament to how bad the light heavy, or the heavyweight division is. Um, probably all has always been the weakest weight division. Um, and then there is one last fight I want to touch on. Even okay. Though it's kind of hard. It was uh, James Krause and Trevin, Trayvon. Oh, yeah, dude. What a hell of a fight. Yeah. Um, they Giles, said he made, made bank on that fight. Yeah. Ja, um, James Krause, I can't remember who his teammate was supposed to be fighting. I can't, it was, I'll have to look it up later. I can't remember who it was. But uh, 
he, James Krause was just a coach there. And the guy that was supposed to be fighting Trevon Giles gets ill the day, or the day of the weigh-ins, I think, and has to pull out. James Krause, who fights at 155 and 170, bumps up to middleweight like in 24 hours or 48 hours notice to fill in at middleweight against Trayvon Giles and uh, takes some bomb shots. Just gets lit up, yeah. but takes them like a man. And yeah. uh, wins the first round by getting a body triangle on the back. Um, almost finishes the Rina Kachoga. He Honestly, if he was big enough, he would have finished it. The dude was just much bigger and stronger. He just couldn't really get it. Yeah. Um, doesn't really do much second round. Kind of almost gets choked at himself. Um, and the third round, super, super close. Uh, once, once again, I, I did not give it to Giles. Yeah, I thought, Kraus, I thought Kraus did enough to win. It was very, very close. Um, but yeah, I was super impressive that he did that well on that short night. That, that was a split decision? No? I think it was unanimous, but I can't remember. Maybe see. it was. I don't know. Um, but, uh... Yeah, he got pay- parent. Apparently, they paid, and he got fired of the night. Yeah, I saw that. It was, yeah. a, good, it was, it was a banger. Yeah, the it, the card ended up actually being pretty entertaining. I thought there was a lot of great fights on it. Even the prelims were, were really uh, quality fights. Everybody was very skilled, and uh, yeah. it was a bad card on names on names for the most part. But the actual quality of the fights was great. There was only like yeah. one or two bad fights in the whole card. Yeah, it was there's really two, entertaining. There's two girls threw down real hard in the prelims. Lauren yeah. Murphy Lee has a good fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, the Lewis fight was the only one that was like just really boring. All the other ones are great. Yeah, even the but I will I will say Derek Lewis's head kicks have gotten top top notch. Those kicks are nasty. Yeah, he moves extremely well for someone that big. Yeah, extremely well. So he's still he's still getting better. I just don't know what the hell you're gonna do with him. Yeah. Who's who's he gonna fight? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Um, come, you know you know what? Just give him tap. Just throw a fucking uh, <laughs> Juan, throw Juan at no throw Juan Adams at him. <laughs> Why not? Just let him just let him see. Or no, you know what? I guess you could just match up with the winner of the Greg Greg Hardy's about to fight again. Fight somebody. I can't remember oh, yeah, who Greg. Greg Hardy's a good option. That's a great. But, uh, Greg Hardy's about to fight somebody, and whoever I'd say, I guess whoever wins that third, Derek Lewis, Adam. Yeah. Why yeah. Not? Just give him fun fights. Don't give him contendership fights because the dude's not going to be champ. I don't think. No. Everybody, everybody's whooped his ass. That was any any good. Yeah. So, whatever. All right. Well, I guess that wraps it up. <clears throat> um, again, if you thought Jones won, just get out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> this is the House of Rouse. Yeah. yeah. Hey, new merch. Oh, yeah. Go There's order no- the shirts on our MySpace. Yeah, check. What are you guys doing? We've Go to- our, fee- our, our feed through MySpace is just awful. I don't understand. I like Actually, to if, be in touch. If you want one of these shirts... Email House of Rouse official at gmail.com. The House of Rouse official at gmail.com. Yeah. Email yeah. that and you'll get and we'll get you a shirt. We accept uh Zelly, Zell, whatever. Venmo. Zell. Cash App. And uh and uh and check. Mail yeah. us a check. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm out. I wanna stop this fucking thing. I thought Jones won. Brace your shogun who are.